should you get the RTX 4070 or the RTX 3070 Ti? We're going to jump right into the benchmarks. The laptops we're using for this test is the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro from 2022 and the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 from 2023. Taking a look at Blender Classroom, you can see that the 3070 Ti scored a 931 and the 4070 scored a 1081. So a little bit of a difference there, over 100 points in Blender Classroom. However, when we get into 3D modeling, there's only a 20 point at max difference between the RTX 4070 and the 3070 Ti. You can see in Autodesk 3DS Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks, they are absolutely neck and neck. Now, at the recording of this video, the 3070 Ti model, equipped with 32 gigs of RAM, and the Ryzen 7 6800H is about $1,500. Whereas the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 with the RTX 4070, the Ryzen 7 7745HX, and a 16 gigs of RAM is around the $1,800 price point. So not only is the 2022 model cheaper, but I can also get more RAM for even less money. And this is going to play in to some more benchmarks here in just a minute. At the recording of this video, the 2022 model with the RTX 3070 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM, and a Ryzen 7 6800H is around $1,500. Whereas the 23 model with the Ryzen 7 7745HX, the RTX 4070, and 16 gigs of RAM is around the $1,800 price point. That's a pretty big difference. Let's go ahead and check out Photoshop. For the RTX 3070 Ti, we scored a 1,160. For the RTX 4070, we scored a 1,102. Now going ahead and looking at After Effects, you can see we have a 923 out of the RTX 4070, where we have a 917 out of the 3070 Ti. Now you might say, okay, Ben, the RTX 4070 is going to get software updates, so it's going to get better. So the advantage is future-proofing yourself because as software continues to update, you'll get better performance inside of these creator apps. And I would agree, but as it is right now so far, these GPUs are seemingly neck and neck. And so is that money savings worth it to you to go ahead and get a more budget-friendly option and still get great performance, especially if you're using Photoshop, After Effects, Blender, 3D modeling, or even just doing 4K video editing? You're gonna see in a second, however, that 6K video editing is even even on these laptops. Now, moving down the line to 4K video editing and export time out of DaVinci Resolve, you can see out of the RTX 3070 Ti, we have a six minute and 13 second export time, whereas out of the 4070, we have a five minute and 27 second export time. So almost a whole minute for DaVinci Resolve. If you're a DaVinci Resolve user, the 4070 would be definitely an advantage at a minute faster for that export time. Now, heading down the list, you can see we have a two minute and 26 second export time for the 4070, whereas we have a two minute and 52 second export time out of the RTX 3070 Ti. Now for B-RAW, the export time is 17 minutes and 57 seconds for the RTX 3070 Ti and 16 minutes and 39 seconds for the 4070. So in a minute advantage for the export time out of B-RAW. However, when we look at playback, you can see we have 49 drop frames for B-RAW out of the 16,177 in the project. And we have zero drop frames out of the RTX 3070 Ti for that same test. So you're actually getting a minute advantage by going with a 3070 Ti with those zero drop frames. However, when we shift over to red footage, it kind of evens out the scale again. We have 243 out of the 3070 Ti versus the 102 out of the 4070. So punch for punch, I would go ahead and save the money. But there are some design changes in the 23 model that I really do like and I think are advantageous just from a user experience standpoint. So if you want to learn more about that, click or tap my screen here for the full review of the 2023 versus the 2022 model. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase and I'll see you over there in that video.